Hi, in this video I'll show you how to quickly add multiple series into a scatter or XY chart. So let's say for example we've got a table here and we are looking at as the temperature uh, gets higher or lower, uh, our sales, our jackets are higher or lower. So basically this is a pretty simple table. If I click anywhere in the table here, I can go into insert, go to the uh, charts group and insert a scatter chart. All right? And I have my scatter chart here, uh, maybe uh, I want to add additional data, maybe I have data later on that I want to add to it. So basically what we're doing is something like this. So when we have one series of data and maybe we have all our, our chart titles, DAXs all kind of laid out and we want to create something like uh, adding another series of data so we can do some comparison of some other items. Maybe we have some other items uh, as the temperature grows up, uh, we get an increase in quantity. Uh, here we had our temperature go up and we had a decrease in quantity. So how can we quickly add that? So there's a couple ways uh, we can do that. Let's say, we, for example, let's say we created our initial chart here. Maybe uh, we didn't do too much to it yet, so I can go ahead and just remove it. And I, I can just copy uh, my particular item here, Control C to copy, select that. And I'll just paste it over here right next to it, Control V to paste. Now I have, let me go ahead and double click that to increase it, to auto fit that. So what, what I do have now is the ability to just create an XY chart with all this data. So my selection is within the table. I'll go to insert and go to charts and go to scatter and basically it's kind of all there and uh, all I need to do now is just kind of edit my title and stuff like that. And so that's that's fine and dandy if we've already kind of started in the beginnings of creating this chart. But let's say for example, let me go and delete this chart. Let's say for example we already have uh, our chart laid out. Let me go and delete this. Right click and uh, uh, delete. Let's say we already have our chart laid out. Let me go ahead and create this again. Uh, create the scatter chart. And I've already done a lot of um, uh, formatting. So I changed the title. Let me just call this uh, weather related purchases. And then I've added my uh, axis. This axis title is going to be equal quantity. I'll just make that quantity very generic. Enter this axis title. Uh, equals temperature, right? I have a legend here. Let me go ahead and uh, add my legend, right? And that, uh, let's see, let me go ahead and, and add the legend title. Let me go ahead and go to uh, select data, go to edit, and the series name, this is going to be jacket sales. Click OK, all right, and click OK. So I've I've got all this already, and if I wanted to delete it, I'd have to do all this all over again. Well, the other way to do it is basically paste special. So what I can do is I can select this range here, and well, let's not do this. Let's let's add a little complication to it because we have our basically our X series the same as that. Let's go ahead and select uh, a different series. We have the X series kind of um, a little expanded out. Let's say I selected this range. All right, let me go ahead and select this range. Control C to copy. And then I'm going here, and then I'm going to control V to paste, right? And it looks like it really messed up our data. Let me go ahead and control Z to undo. What we can do is we have we can paste special. So I've, I, let me go ahead and, and make sure I selected my data again. Control C to, oops, select this data. Control C to copy, select my chart here. And under the paste, I'll go to paste special. Now paste special comes up with some from special parameters that we enter in. I'm going to enter it as a new series. Uh, my Y values, of course, are in my columns uh, below. And then uh, I'll go ahead and check this off, the series name in the first row. And my category X axis is uh, the first column. Right? So I'll go and click OK. And now we have our data here. And all I need to do now is just edit that. And I'm going to go ahead and go into design, select data. And for the quantity, it's kind of picked that up. I'm going to edit it. And now I'm going to reference that as uh, the correct series name. Click OK. You can see here, of course, it selected the correct value for my X, right? X is the A column and Y is the B column starting at uh, 29. So I'll go and click OK and then click OK. And now we have our series here. So there's the kind of quick, quicker way to uh, put additional series of data into your scatter chart uh, using the copy and paste feature uh, instead of going into select data and maybe adding it and kind of selecting it as you go uh, that's another way that you can do it a little a little bit quicker uh, just depending on your preference uh, if you want to get into the details of things but there you go there's a uh, kind of a quick way to add multiple series of data into a scatter chart hope that helps thanks for watching